Canadians love watching television. Here's your wine. But if your TV watched you, what would it see? What do we like, 15 more days to go? Yeah. We're going inside real homes to get uncensored reactions ah. ding, 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 ding. Oh, hell. to the week's hottest shows. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh, God! How big is this thing? <laughs> Welcome to the 1900s. <laughs> I'm going to die. George! Oh, oh my God! God. And it's in New York! Five, six, seven, eight. All oh, food. I could be a master eater. They need to come up with that show. This is The People's Couch. Pizza is here. All oh, food, thank God. What are we watching? Home chefs get to compete for $250,000. This evening, there will be a football game happening right here. Trust me, this place is going to be packed. Gordon Ramsay. Did I mention I want to marry him because he has money? You guys are going to be making classic all-American food. Can you believe how much weight awesome. Graham Elliott's lost? Remember when I was a fat guy? It was really easy to lose 80 pounds. All I had to do was stop eating just shit. Teams have just one hour to create a healthy burger and fish taco concessions for hundreds of hungry football fans. Uh, really? Yeah. Jamie's red team has decided to make a turkey burger. I think you choose something that's slightly risky. Sometimes you just gotta risk it to get the biscuit. The blue <laughs> team has decided to go with a guacamole burger. Veggies are the thing that I feel like most football fans push out of the way to get to the wings. <laughs> uh, we got a little Worcester sauce, we got a little oregano. It looks very wet. He added too many eggs. Shit, baby. You can be on Master Chef. I made burgers yesterday. I, I could be on Master Eater. They need to come up with that show. Right. The crowd is arriving. Oh, dear. I need you on the grill. The Do you think you can handle the pressure? I would crack instantly. Uh, You're running behind. People are walking off. Customers are getting pissed. I can't even cook for us. Push, push, push. Dig, dig, dig. Get it together, team. Let's go. Let's beat this rain. Oh, and then it starts to piss rain. And the turkey burgers were wet anyway. <laughs> Three, two, the blue team got it together faster. The winning team tonight. Ten dollars says red team wins. You want to go? Team blue. I think red team gonna win. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. The red team. Oh. What? <laughs> so now they go into a pressure challenge where it's like individual cook-off. These little guys. Electrons. <gasps> oh, it's still alive. You will be making all three of our favorite prawn dishes. That's a lot of work. Your one hour. I love it. Now. Go, 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 go. Don't look, Zachary. Oh, they're cooking fishes. I do best under pressure, so hopefully I'm going to take this home. He's got a bit of a ninja with his ninja-like hair. He just looks like a sensei. She's frightened of the mind. You would be, too. She's not even handling them properly. She's only 18 years old. Two, one, hands in the air. Three, no shoot. Salt, pepper, tomato, a uh, little jalapeno. Oh, just... I like ceviche. The perfect texture. Leslie's my guy. I think so too. What's the one thing that absolutely is missing on that? Salt. Girl, just put some ketchup on it. Everything tastes good with ketchup. Yep. Victoria, it's raw. <gasps> oh, Victoria's gone, for sure. The first home cook that we are sorry to see leave. Leslie seems like he wants it. Victoria. Victoria. Adios. Sayonara. Bye, Bye, Victoria. The person leaving tonight is. I want her on to win. I want her on to Leslie win. Leslie can cook. Iran. <laughs> no! Okay, there we go. Boom! Oh, I, I want to so cry, bad. man. I feel bad Enjoy for her. You have not reached your potential. Well done, my darling. Thank you. She's still young. She can come back next year. Yeah. I'm going next year. Yeah. I'm going in. What are you going to cook? Roti. <laughs> A cheese and cracker? Oh, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Oh, darling. Two, two seconds. It's not deep fried. It looks so, uh, so simple. Simple is best. Okay, come on, then. We're gonna watch My Tiny Terror. Okay, let's bring Charles. He's my tiny terror. Up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's bigger than all the dogs you could ever want. Come here, Bubba. I'm Jacqueline Wilson. Come on, guys. 
Yay! Your favorite. Small dogs can present big problems. Oh, God. Who knew tiny dogs could be so terrible? They are the worst. Great! And I'm here to fix that. And this old ass lady Jacqueline is going to help them? Yeah. <laughs> I'm here today to see Paul and Nicole. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jackie, what's going on with that two-tone hair? I think she got her hair cut at the dog spa. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nicole. Hi, I'm Paul. This is Pet. Who the hell names their dogs? Paul Pet. Maybe the dog's upset about her name. <laughs> Paul Pet is definitely ruining our relationship. You're getting c blocked by a two-pound dog. Come to bed, honey. Like, we'll kiss. And then all of a sudden we'll see this. Like, <laughs> she'll like come in between us. Ew, that's so disgusting. Why do people mouth kiss their dogs? I usually have to get into bed really slowly. There's no way a dog would ever be in the bed with us. No. <laughs> Timmy, do you ever do that shit to me? I kill you. This is gonna be her little condo. Here's your prison home. Super cute. I need Nicole to definitely step up her discipline, and I need Paul to just man up. Man up. <laughs> Go to bed. Put her in there. Yay! Oh, that's a good puppy. Things have gotten a lot better. What about in the bedroom? How's that? <laughs> Are you getting some yet, Paul? Huh? I'm here today to see Craig and Amy and their little rescued chihuahua, Flozel. Flozelle is rabid. Thing has rabies. Again, what's with these stupid dog names? If I were to put my hand up, she would go after me, too. <laughs> <laughs> She's not a good dog and she needs to be put down. That's not an option. Oh my god, she accidentally fell in the pool. <laughs> so nice to Hi, meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> You get him, Tibbet. You get him. Have you ever seen one of these? Uh, no. It's, it's a citronella collar. It literally sprays into the dog's face when they're being bad. Hit the warning button. Oh, get him out of there. No, spray her again. Let Stop. her have it. Spray her again. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Flozelle's so scared right now. She's like, I don't know what's good and bad, <laughs> but I just don't want to be smoked in the face with citronella. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you guys not giving up on Flozelle. I'm really glad that it all worked out. Bye, bye, bye. boys. Bye. The dog looks like it's on house arrest. <laughs> I'm still never going to get a tiny dog. Ow! Be nicer to me. Be nicer. Do we have to call Jacqueline Wilson on you, Charles? Toot problem. Jeez. Coming up. Ah! It's fish for dinner. All the water around me would be yellow. <laughs> I'm just saying. And Stephen gets his groove on. It's my gay dancing. Yep, it is. How are you feeling? Okay. What do we like? 15 more days to go? Yeah. You think she could look like more of me or you? Hopefully not you. You don't like a pretty girl. You're watching Shark Week on Discovery. A great white shark. So massive. Oh! So aggressive. Ah! He's become a legend. Look at the size of those jaws! He is Colossus. How big is this thing? The hunt is on for the ultimate predator. Colossus. Air jaws. Oh yeah, he's flying out of the water. We've really wanted to see Colossus and we've been towing in all the areas that the big sharks occur up until this point still no colossus this is the last known photo we have of colossus from 2011. i love that he's got a bite mark out of his fin he's like the toughest guy in jail so that's what <laughs> we really need to focus on if we define this animal brilliant dickie schiffel a local shark naturalist believes he's invented the perfect shark lure for a big male great white. He can't possibly be serious that he just made a shark puppet. You riding this? That's the plan. Thank God for white people, because we would never find Colossus. Sure as hell ain't. Mm -mm. Did you ever see any black people in Jaws? <laughs> oh my God. Dickie, don't do it. Dickie, don't. If this guy's dumb enough to go in the water, I'm on the side of the shark. Three shots. Three shots, guys. You'd have to club me to death before I would get on that thing. You are one dumbass, Dickie. I'd eat his ass up just for being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> watch out, Dickie. I can't even watch. Oh, it's God. also attracted a 14-foot female. Oh, there Whoa. it is. 
And that's not even Colossus. He's got like this chunk out of his dorsal yeah. thing. Get the f <laughs> Only men would do something stupid like that. Dickie escapes. Oh, thank Just God. Just as Parthenope is nailed by a big That could have been breaking. you! Oh, you stupid idiot! Aye, aye. Let me bite your ass yeah. and then that's it. You're looking good today, hey? <laughs> <aye. laughs> and even though we didn't find Colossus, I think it was worth the risk. And obviously one of the craziest things I've done. They just need to make sure that Dickie doesn't procreate. <laughs> New Zealand is also a prime destination for very large adult male white sharks. He migrated down to New Zealand. In search of love? Yeah. Did he just punch that shark? <laughs> F off. You gotta piss him off now. The North End sharks are displaying a gang style mentality. Crazy. All that water around me would be yellow. <laughs> I'm just saying. Chris, do you copy? He's probably crying and shitting in his wetsuit right now. He's curled up in a little ball. I'll push the white, I'll push my Shark. The search for Colossus continues back in South Africa. A seal decoy will be pulled behind the boat. The shark equivalent of a sex doll. Ah! Winner, Canyon. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, man. Dude, Colossus. Oh, yeah. We took a chance, we gambled, and we won. Look how sharks mate, one on top of the other. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh, oh. Bro, don't get me pregnant. We're going to you. <laughs> Dennis Mori, who's the daddy? <laughs> get a little dance mom action here. Five, six, seven, eight. Dance mom. It's my gay dancing. Yep, it is. This show is about parents who get their children like classes at this Abby Lee dance company. You guys are two for two. Losing. Yeah, Abby's my favorite bitch. I love her. Yeah. Favorite favorite bitch. Bitch. She looks like Jonah Hill in a dress. She does. How did it feel to get beat? Abby's really all about the tough love. Less of the love, more of the tough. Oh! Can't do that. That's, Sarah cannot do that like. Can you show them how to do that first, please? Yeah, really. I want to see you fall and break your ass. Why don't you do those pirouettes? You can't. It's important for each one of the girls to hold their own. If one of them falls, they could all go down. I can't risk it with Sarah. Your job as a coach is to encourage them, and you're not doing that. So She's that's coming pipe, off that's of a win. Like, that's piped down. Oh, she just shushed her. Oh, here goes dance moms. They're thinking Sarah shouldn't be here, Abby. I'm thinking the same thing. Wow. She just got told. These moms are already thinking they're going to lose because the number no, they're thinking no, are done. Oh, that. is that so? No. Moms are insane. They're nuts. I think all these moms are trying to live their fantasy of being dancers to their children. My parents were never allowed to watch my classes. I went from six, seven days a week of like 12 hour dance training to Nothing because of the way they treat you. Well, you're a stepmom now. You've got Almost. a kid in dance. How's that? There are a lot of dance moms in real life. Oh, it's an intensity dance competition. Intensity Here we go. It's about to go down. Competition. Please welcome Alyssa and Evan performing Stars Alive. So, this is Abby Lee's competition, a lyrical presentation. Look at this kid just doing like four spins. Pirouettes, honey. Why is her crotch on his hand inappropriate? These are kids. Don't fart. <laughs> Stars alive. This is Gino and Maddie performing. Uh, this girl just got to be kissed. Abby's team is now up. Bring it, you little piaches. Yes, love it. Little Frank Sinatra sort of thing going on. This Musical theater, honey, is like this. She's got to be kissed. Make no mistake. I need more of this in my life. <laughs> That chick sure getting kissed. <laughs> that, that did it, okay, that did it, okay, that was cute. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our judges awards. Oh, it's judging time now. Second place. Act number 16, this girl's just gotta be kissed. Just oh, fell, she done messed no. up. Oof. Wow. The uh, first group was better. They were better. And I'm gonna go ahead and send Gene out and his stuff, and I need to have you leave immediately. And they got second. It wasn't like they just came in dead last. What a horrible bitch. So no dance school for you, okay? How many parents do you think 
would just like to accidentally back over her. Oh yeah, and they wouldn't even stop. They would just keep driving. Speed bump. Back in a sec with hidden treasures. Oh, 11 heart. Oh, it's a pile of shit. Oh my God. <laughs> When storage units are abandoned in the Big Apple, who's got the best junk? New York City is my town. I own this here. They're pretty cool names. Just a little bit of honey goes a long way. The flame and the firecracker. Oh, I like those girls. You gotta know every trick in the book. I'm a hustler, baby. Yes. All right, here are the rules of the auction. We're gonna cut the locks. We're gonna open the door. I'm gonna open the locker. You can look in. You can't touch anything. Cash only sale. Bring your dollar dollar bills, y'all. It's got tons of boxes, but you can't go through the boxes. So they yeah, just like, get one look in there. And then they all start bidding for it. All right, let's start it out at $200 for the room. Anybody $200? I think it goes for $1,600. $1,200, $1,200, Anybody? I got $1,100, anybody? $1,200. $400, are we going? $425. Shut up, honey. I talk fast, but those guys make me look slow. Sold, $1,100. Let's hope he finds something valuable. That's, that's the base that's, with the marble compass. Yeah. $1,500. Really? Really somebody's going to pay you that much for that? Well, I'd say we got at least 10, 15 bucks right there. What are you smoking? Hello, who is it? Oh, it's a waste of money. It's for you. No way. Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Original Huckleberry Finn? Wow. That's got to be worth a fortune. We need to get this looked at. That's we the treasure. Like great. an old book. That's cool. Mm. This is like the largest storage room I've ever seen. 47 in the back. 47. 4,800 now. 49. 59. 58. Oh. Joe P, 5,800. Boom, Joe P. Plant stand, 80 bucks. Maple, 100 bucks. Beer stein, 50 bucks. I want to know where he got his appraisal skills. The nautical piece from a ship this is the kind of stuff I like. That's so cool. I know, right? Wow. That's going to be his big piece. No, I bet you that's going to be worth like $1. All right, so Chris and Tad are going to see how much Huck Finn is really worth. I would price it at $3,000. Three grand $3, for a $3,000 for a book. I'm headed to Throg's Neck to get my nautical light appraised. He had to take a boat? Where the hell is this guy going? What we have here is this is a, uh, a marine searchlight. Okay. It'd be mounted uh, right on here. Joe P. just wants to know how much it's worth. What's it worth? What can I get for this? I would say it's probably worth about... $1,200? How's that sound? Sounds okay. I thought it'd be worth more. That's a bit of a letdown. Hmm. Chris and Ted booked over six thousand. Joe P wins. He just made ten grand. Now I'm sailing. Not really. I think Joe P needs to get a life. Why? This guy's the man. He's got long hair. He's got a great accent. He knows old shit. Like, what more could you ask for? Coming up, we're on the cutting edge of healthcare. Bye. This show I've been reading a lot about today on Facebook. 19th century medical drama. It's like ER meets Jack the Ripper. The Nick, north on Mott, east on 11th. It's about a hospital in New York called the Knickerbocker. Is that Clive Owen? It is. Yeah. Why is he looking all old and sad? I love him. What is he doing? Don't put it in your toes! Nothing like a little shot between the toes to get you up in the morning, eh, sugar? Whatever it is that he's injecting. It's Coke. So he's got a lot of demons to wrestle with? Yes. He's a doctor on a drug bender. Uh, that's kind of scary. I love period pieces like this. Well, here we are at the hospital. You know what's really sterile? Just keeping your hands up like this. That's how you keep them clean. Ew, he did this beard. We're praying for surgery. I gave you my cup. Oh, Prego. Oh, no. Dr. Thackeray and I have rehearsed the newest techniques extensively. And everybody's watching. Oh, great. Well, this is uh, this is how you learned in those days. I want the students to... Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! We're just going to crank the blood out of her. Mm -mm. Perfect. Drink up. 
No gloves? They didn't have gloves back in those days? I no. know. Wow, his whole arm is in there. Doctors that go from the autopsy room to the delivery room oh. without washing their hands. Oh. And yeah. that's why so many women died in childbirth. Oh, yes. Nothing. You killed her. Yeah, you damn killed her. There's not a how-to manual. They're right in the book. Welcome to the 1900s, <laughs> where everything sucks. Keep your boilers cooking for the next I think one. this is the new doctor. I'm Algernon Edwards. Ooh, black guy. Oh, and he ain't a slave, either. He ain't a slave. <laughs> damn. But I am certainly not interested in an integrated hospital staff. Oh, he didn't know he was black, no, right? No, so he doesn't want him. You know we have no choice. The man will be hired. I just really feel that, like, if he wants to be on the cutting edge of science, he ought to also be open-minded about society. That's just the way that people thought back then. We need to go back in and find the leak right away. We. Oui. He's my patient doctor, not yours. It's like, we know you're good, but... <laughs> you black. Good lord, Dr. Thackeray. I'm jonesing, I'm jonesing. You need to inject me. Oh, he's not coked out. That's his problem. He's trying to spend the night without the drug. Destroyed yourself, Doctor. You're collapsed everywhere. Oh, oh he's God. blown out all his veins. What are you doing? You want a bigger vein? Is she gonna shoot him up into his penis? Uh huh. Oh no, she gotta do it on a little wee wee. Do it. You do not get paid enough for this, girlfriend. Uh, yes, that's the face you make when you inject your penis with cocaine. Gentlemen. Oh, he's fine now. I'm up. Let's go. Pencil. Poor, spot. poor guy. Look at Buddy. He's like, I'm going to die. I intend to inject a 2% cocaine solution directly into Mr. Gentile's spinal canal. The first ever epidural. Very gently, because <gasps> if you... <gasps> if you move it... <gasps> it's working. Look, he's calming down already. In a few seconds, you won't be able to feel your feet, and you're really going to want to party. <laughs> <laughs> Go! Uh. Now he can cut into him. Yes. He totally doesn't feel That's it. crazy. I'm not leaving this circus until I learn everything you have to teach. I think he's kind of testing him too, you know, to see how much he's going to take from him. Mutual respect, potentially. Oh, wonderful. Oh, this is wonderful. a great series. I'm a hypochondriac. Like, I go to the doctor and I'm like, Doc, my heart is beating. What should I do about that? In the 1900s, they'd be like, let's get in there and look. Let's just cut you open and take that out and... Well, there's your problem. Your heart is beating. Uh-oh, oh, it stopped.